Go and delete all these Y values. See these guys? Just clear them off. Okay. Uh, unsurprisingly, your graph disappears because you just got rid of all the data. Okay. But now, we can create a new quadratic equation. If I wanted to do x squared minus 2x plus 5, what would be the first thing I do? I want the x value. How do I get an x value? Oh. Yeah, take, the, take that actual cell there. Right? What do I do with this? How do I square it? Yep. Use the hat. There's x squared. There's x squared. And then I minus 2. Do I just click the cell now? No. No, I have to multiply. I have to multiply. There's 2x. And then I finish with plus... Wait, really? Five. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, three, five. Okay. So I'm going to copy that guy. I'm going to cross. I'm going to paste it. Paste. Okay. They just like, ta-da. There they are. Okay. So you can see, because we did all that extra legwork setting things up, like getting all the equations right, getting the data there, setting up our trend line, now you can sort of effortlessly go ahead. You can tell me as well what's the lowest, what's the minimum value? It's going to be four. Yeah, it's going to be four. Okay. Um, not all questions will ask you for a minimum value. For instance, if I just muck around with it like so, bear with me. Thank you. That's that's very generous of you. <laughs> you tried. That's okay. Um, oh. Oh, I see. That's what I want. Let's do that. That'll do it. Aha! There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, the hashtags. I can fix that. Sorry. Uh, hashtags. There we go. Okay. So, I'm not going to tell you too much about what's happening behind here, but I just want you to look at what's going on. Okay? What's happened? Instead of having an, a, a positive value out in front of x squared, like positive 2 or positive 1, you see there's a 1 hiding here, so it's kind of sneaky, we don't write it there. If you have a negative number out the front, you get this kind of parabola. You get a, well this is a fountain, isn't it? Okay. So you're not going to get asked the minimum value for this, right? Why not? Why isn't, um, why isn't negative 20 the minimum value? Yeah, if I just extended the table over to 6 and so on, um, you could go lower and lower and lower. So what question would you get asked for this? What's the highest? What's the maximum value of this? Okay? So you have to pay attention to what kind of shape you get and what kind of question you get asked. Okay? 